I would like to welcome the new parents to uh, Sacred Heart Cathedral and to this brief overview on Schoology. Uh, now, Schoology is what we call a learning management system, and it functions as a type of a town hall or a central meeting place for all students and parents and staff and alums and that sort of thing. So this, in this brief introduction, I'd just like to go over um, what not only what Schoology does, but what it looks like and maybe some of the more important tabs and areas that you might find uh, interesting and you know important to look at, okay? So once you've been given your login uh, with password, just go ahead and log in. And again, it's Schoology.com. And given the login that you'll use, it will take you to what's called our enterprise system. Now, what does that mean? There's a free version of Schoology, and there's what they call an enterprise version of Schoology. The enterprise version uh, has some extra bells and whistles and capabilities. Okay, so uh, for example, we have our across the top here you see this green banner with our SHC logo here we're able to do things like synchronize with our SIS that's not really so important for you to know um, but there's a few other capabilities that make it a lot more robust okay now let's take a quick look at this page and you can see in front of you it's a very clean uh, open look and it looks a little bit like a, a Facebook page right which is I think what they were going for so it's so it's a little intuitive but still you need to know some things so let's talk about this. Now, if you follow my, my cursor here, you'll see that there's basically two big areas. There's this area, and then there's this area, okay? And I guess there's a third area too, which is this green banner across the top. So let's talk about which, each one of those areas. This area right here is what I call the town hall. This is where announcements come in. Um, so, for example, when you first open your Schoology page, you'll see the announcements to the different, now this is important, to the different groups that you belong to. If you don't belong to any groups, you will not see any announcements in this area other than a welcoming, uh, just a welcoming uh, announcement, if you want to call it that. So, what does that mean, actually, practically? That means that everyone's Schoology page is customizable, which is one of the hallmarks of Schoology. It's, it's customized to your own needs, okay? Now, when I click on my groups, you'll see that I belong to a whole bunch of groups, right? I belong to my SHC writing, a geometry learning team, announcements, faculty and staff, algebra learning team, et cetera, et cetera. So I will get announcements here from all of those groups. Now, remember what I said, that if you do not belong to any groups, you'll see nothing here. So what do faculty, uh, excuse me, what do parents, which two groups do parents need to belong to? Parents need to belong to SHC announcements because this is one of the largest groups that we have. If I were to click on that specifically, you'll see that there are over 2,196 members here. So all parents belong to this group. And it's a good group because when I have something to uh, to to announce about, um, oh, I don't know, let's say that, you know, there's a school uh, outage or there is a problem with, uh, you know, opening day is going to, I mean, opening uh, class the next day is going to be uh, later, that sort of thing. It will probably be put in the SHC announcements because, like I said, it, it reaches the largest group of people, parents and faculty and staff, okay? Now, this is what they call an open group. Um, well, I, I can't say that because years might change. So this is a group that, you know, um, if you join it, there's usually a code, or if it's an open group, you just be able to click join. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. There's a different video I have for how to join a group, okay? But that's one of the groups you need to belong to. The other group that you need to belong to is what they call the Parents Association. Let me see if I have any announcements from that particular group ready. I don't see one here, but it's the same idea, right? So any announcements from the parents will go into this group. And that's also quite a large group as well. Okay, so again, the main part of this is that announcements show here to the different groups you belong to. Now this right column, this second area, 
uh, is a little bit of a later development. So you'll see that I have upcoming here. Now, what does that mean? For parents, for students especially, upcoming assignments and important announcements show up here with the date. So you can see that, you know, August 15th, personal event, first quarter begins. Uh, August 15th, this is our first full schedule with a, with a special schedule with a mass, okay? Uh, these are some homework assignments that I have for my opening class, that sort of thing. So it's a very um, important area, especially, think of it as functioning like a planner for students, right? But it's also a planner for you, so you can see what's coming up. Parents, you should particularly pay attention to, like, you know, the next day or the day after. Are there any assignments that maybe your son or daughter has coming up? And you can ask them, you know, if they prepared for it, that sort of thing, or ask them how they did, right? So that's that part. That's that second area. Let's go up to this third area up here, and I'll just go through these really quickly. Courses. Now, you can click on courses, and you can see what courses your son or your daughter is taking. Okay, so that's one thing you can do there. Or you can just toggle over to here where it says Course Dashboard and do the exact same thing. You should be able to have both of those tabs and just organize them slightly differently. Okay, so that's Courses. In Groups, clicking there real quickly. Again, you can see that these are all the groups that I belong to, and your groups will show up the same way. All right, if you click up here, you'll see over here to this far right, it says My Groups. You should have that as well. If you click on that, that's how you can join or create a group. And, and here are the different group settings. You have the ones that you belong to, the ones that belong to our school, and then there's public groups that belong to everybody. Again, um, there's a different video to, uh, that I have that shows you how to join that group, okay? Now let's go to resources. Resources are anything that you want to save. Now, uh, it's not as important for parents, for example, to have that, but certainly for faculty and staff and students. Now, this is a search engine. Uh, if you wanted to search for something within this particular, uh, you know, resources, you just put your information there and search, and hopefully it will catch what you're looking for. These are apps, again, not that important, but this is the one that I want you to see. And this is the calendar feature. It looks like a little typewriter to me, but if you click on the calendar, let's show you what pulls up, you get the whole, you know, 30-day calendar view if you'd like. You can also go by week, where it just gives you seven, or you can also go by day, which just gives you the hourly, okay? I find the monthly one the best. And again, on the monthly calendar, it aggregates a lot of information. It aggregates, for example, the daily schedule. You can see that here, what color it is, and what the order of, of, of uh, the blocks are. You see that um, there's counseling group, and there's advising, there's a walkathon, homeroom, there's, uh, what else is in here? That's kind of interesting. Yeah, just many, like here's a math, for example, that sort of thing. At homework assignments will show up here so your students can find what homework assignment was done on which day. Okay, so that's kind of an important one. Up here, you get email. So you can directly email a parent, right, and they should be able to, um, excuse me, a, 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 a teacher, and you should be able to get a response up here. A, a number will show up. That's an alert that's not that important. Finally, over here, to the right of your name, there's a little down arrow. If you click on that, you'll see that, um, you see again, I have two accounts, but you also see that different names make different impressions, right? Your, your son or daughter should show up here, for example, if you wanted to, like, you know, see what's going on in their class. Uh, this is where your notifications, you go to settings, and this is where you go to notifications. And, and in notifications, you can turn on and off the frequency and the type of notifications you want. Again, I have that covered in a separate video. Okay, I don't want this to go too much longer, so I think I'm going to stop right here and say that if you uh, have any questions, by the way, this is where you change your password. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to add, call me or rather uh, email me at support at shcp.edu.
Thanks a lot.